Hello everyone and welcome to Colleen's Seeing Eye Dog Vlog, The Colleen and Joplin Show. Thank you guys so much for watching. There will be links in the description for the Seeing Eye and previous episodes. Please subscribe by clicking the bell. This is Joplin, the Seeing Eye Dog. She will be two in August. So right now she's still one years old. Good girl. So everyone, good morning. Today is a little bit bittersweet because the uh, retrains are leaving. Now retrain is somebody who's coming to replace their dog, get a new dog because they had to retire or for some reason um, lose their previous guide dog. So uh, there's been 20 of us in class and now there will only be six of us left. Six of us, this is our first time getting a guide dog and for the rest of them they are, they've been flying home the past couple days or the most of them leave today. So it'll be a different feel for class and it'll be more personalized for this last week because it's our first guide dogs. So lots of love and thank you for the advice and the stories and good luck with your new friends. Retrains. Yay! Whew. It has been a very eventful day on Colleen Connor's Seeing Eye Dog vlog. Joplin and I have had quite the day. Uh, just a lot of stuff. Um, some good things, some bad things. So this morning, our morning trip was going to be really exciting and my trainer and I were going to go on a hike because of my audio description training retreats business, uh, which I do with my co-founder Jan Volgaropoulos. She's an audio describer and I am a consultant and help train people to become audio describers for live theater, film, television, and uh, museum work and the two of us work together she's sighted and i'm not and um, we've created this training retreats program which if you want to check it out it's um ad training retreats.com feel free to join us if you would like to but we do a lot of outdoorsy type atmospheres and so i wanted to be able to take joplin on the beach or hiking or things like that and so we were going to try a trail today a hiking trail and we got about maybe 30 seconds into the trail, not a joke, 30 seconds, one minute, and my instructor looks down and goes, oh my gosh, turn back, we need to get out of here. And uh, in that amount of time, Joplin got about 10 ticks on her. Um, now they didn't have time, obviously, to latch on and do their tick blood-sucking thing, um, but you know, my instructor was, you know, flicking them off of her. And if you do have pets this summer, 2017, uh, be careful. It is high tick season for some reason this year. So just watch out. There's supposedly going to be a lot of ticks this year. And Joplin and I can vouch for that today. So we turned back and we didn't get to go on our hike. Um, but we did get all the ticks off. And um, then we were very hot and tired. It's now instead of being in the 40s, 50s and raining, it's now 90 degrees outside. So we didn't really have time to adjust to the weather change here at the Seeing Eye in New Jersey. So it was very hot today and she was really tuckered out. And so I tried to take her on the leisure path, but she was just panting too hard. And I was like, let's go inside. You know, use good judgment when it's really hot for your dogs, make sure you carry water with you if you're going on a day trip, or uh, make sure you know they have time to nap in the air conditioning or in the shade. Don't, um, especially if you have a service dog, don't work them outside constantly in the burning heat. Um, and even watch their paws on the pavement. Um, they can burn their paws on sand or pavement just as much as we can burn our feet. So um, watch for heat and your dogs 
kind of like you would watch for yourself. This afternoon we did get a chance to go to the mall, which was fun. So uh, we went and we sat in Barnes and Noble and we had some coffee. And then, not her, I had coffee and she laid under the table and was a very good girl. Um, but it was a very cool experience for me to walk around the mall. We were zooming around. We went into a Macy's and we went into a uh, Old Navy and a Sears and we did escalators and elevators and she did really well. Um, I only really um, almost ran into one person. She, there was a trash can and a little bit of space and a person and she thought maybe both of us could fit and we could not. And she was very interested in Auntie Anne's pretzels. And I understand that because so am I. But we had a correction for that one. Learning to order something at a counter and you know pay for it, wait for it, I'm still getting the hang of it. Uh, so far I only have one hand because I'm keeping one on her leash. But um, basically you sit them directly in front of you under the counter. You sit them right there and keep a hold of the leash so you know where their head is while you're paying for something while you're doing your transaction or ordering. And then um, you would go and sit down. Uh, one of the activities we did here at the Seeing Eye was a pretend cafeteria line. So I also learned how to carry a tray and handle a dog at the same time. So there's a few food things that we did because it's a mall and I always find food at the mall. And she did really well. Uh, she tends to pant and lean into the harness a lot. So my concern is that it sounds like I'm torturing her when really she's just like, I'm taking you places. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting, taking you places. Um, but she sounds like a freight train. <laughs> Plus she's got a, like a jingly metal piece on her harness. So she's like jingle bells and a freight train and I'm just like Joplin, everyone knows we're here. You're supposed to be discreet. So um, we're gonna check out her harness, but we visited the vet this afternoon and she seems um, very healthy. So other than the ear infection she's had while she's here and her upset tummy, which she's on probiotics for. Um, she's never had any major health issues in her lifetime. Uh, she's gonna be two in August, so she's one years old right now. Um, I'm gonna get a quote on getting pet insurance for her. I'm not sure if I want to get her pet insurance or not. If you all have any thoughts on pet insurance, please leave them in the comments below. Um, also, please, in general, subscribe to these videos. You can click the little bell. You can also email me at blindinspirationcast at gmail.com or check out my Twitter at inspirationcast. Jacqueline and I are doing pretty well. Like I said, we had kind of an up and down crazy day but the uh, mall was fun and the vet visit went really well. So she's a healthy girl, she's microchipped. I've got my homing device on her and she doesn't have rabies. So we're doing good. And we will talk to you guys soon.